Tool for dialing in offset center and a four jaw chuck. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the tooling and also how to do the setup in the four jaw chuck. This particular job, I decided to make it out of O1. Uh, the first piece is about two inches, the second piece is about four inches. It consists of a 60 degree included angle put onto one end and a center drill put in the other and I put a nice little chamfer on the back. Okay, let's get started right now. Okay, so your boss turns around and says, hey, there's a center punch mark right here. I need you to indicate that center punch mark and bore a tapered hole into it. How do you do it? Quick little cut. This is what a 30 degree setup looks like to cut an included 60 degree angle. I set my offset to 30 degrees. Tool looks like this. And here's my workpiece. And I'm going to feed in using this handle. And it'll feed in on an angle like this. So 30 will get me 60 degree included. Normally I would actually grind this guy here, but just for today, I'm just going to use it as is. Normally I would heat treat and grind these, but since it's just for a demo, I'm going to leave them soft today. I'm aligning the plate up and using the center to hold the plate in place. Kind of close, it's relatively close. You can see we're not 100%, so there's no way I could actually move this around to get this within a thou just by using this. That's why we're going to use this wonder tool and an indicator. The wonder tool. Okay, hopefully we have our double pin here and here into our center. we spin this we're gonna mark our X's make sure they're nice and clear just so we don't make a mistake so we'll do one axis at a time this guy here is at 15 bring that all the way around to here and it's got a ways to go so I got to go all the way back over to here so I'm going to zero this guy out here. I'm going to do that by turning my cross slide in. We'll call that zero. We'll come this way. Now I need to know if I have to go in or out. I need to come in. So I'm going to back off on this side. And I'm going to feed in on this side.
30, 20. Okay, so now we're going to do the Y, or the zero axis. See if we can see that. I'll zoom in a little closer here. Double pin. Spot on. So my plate here with a center punch hole. Right on. Hopefully you picked up some useful tips. This is not the only use for these tools, but that's another video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see others, please go to my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Just click on my face and I'll do the rest. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.